Hi, my name is Emily Lamos. I'm Riley Stanek. And I'm Miranda Mochan. And we created a product called On the Other Hand, and it's a unique desk made to suit both right-handed and left-handed people. Okay, so once again, this is on the, oh, okay. So how our product is born, basically when we were told about this assignment, Mr. Schmidt told us to think about everyday challenges that we face and think of ways that we could solve them. And we had a lot of good ideas and a lot of bad ideas, um, but ultimately we wanted to make a desk that kind of is suitable for lefties because we noticed that there are a lack of desks that accommodate lefties in an academic setting. And we wanted a solution that didn't take up a lot of debt, a lot of space in the classroom. And I'm actually left-handed, so I could kind of give my input. So now, okay. So the only current solutions are separate left-handed desks, but they occupy more space. And once again, it's just kind of like not really going to work because you never know how many lefties and righties you're going to have in each class or just unsuitable learning conditions for those that are left-handed because it's kind of hard to write on a desk that's meant for a right-handed person when you're a lefty, so. Um, in our design process, when we first decided to do something for left-handed people, we obviously went to Miranda first because she had first-hand experience and could tell us what she would want in a desk and what she struggled with with a typical desk. And then we also went to the internet and researched current solutions that were out there and then how they were currently solving the problem. And then we drew our own designs and what we had envisioned for it to look like. And we threw around a lot of different ideas. And then when we were looking at a real like desk they use now, we actually took it apart and tried to put it our own vision and like bring it to life. And we had a lot of struggles. We had our very own inner group struggles, deciding on like what design we wanted to do. We argued over whose design idea was better and what would be the most efficient for idea. But, and we also figured out the size for the desk, like how big we want the tabletops to be, what would be the most efficient for the classroom. And that was just a lot of inner group like arguments and talks we had. And then the final design we came up with was a desk with two fold up tabletops. One will be like has a whiteboard surface that you can write on. And then the base of the desk is a cylinder. So when the desk folds down, it takes up less space. And also for accessibility purposes, there's a side pocket for like pencils and anything you need to put in there. And there's also a cup holder built into one of the tabletops. <clears throat> okay, so this is the sketch of our product. You can see on the far left is a front view with the tabletops facing down. And this is to show how they look when they're folded down and it can kind of give you an idea of how you'd be able to fold one up versus the other. And as we mentioned before, you can fold up the left one if you're left-handed, the right one if you're right-handed. And if you needed extra space, you can fold up both the tabletops so you can put your computer on one and your books on the other. And in the middle, we have a side profile with the tabletop up. This one is to show the cylindrical base that Emily was talking about. It's also supposed to mimic that of like a salon chair is kind of what we were thinking. So it's comfortable for you to sit with your knees down, whether you have one tabletop up or both of them. And also you can see how we were thinking of being able to have the retractable tabletop. In our prototype, we were using, it was like a retractable shelving hinge, I guess you could say. So that's kind of what we were thinking for that route. Also, you can see for the measurements, you want to make it 30 inches high and 45 across. Um, that was just trying to get it as close to regular desk measurements as we could. But when we were, if we were to make our actual prototype, I'm sure those measurements would have changed through like trial and error. And next on the far right is a front view with the tabletop up. Emily, can you go back? Thank you. Is the front view with the tabletop up. Also, when we were creating our product, we were kind of throwing around the word like a baby high chair. So you can kind of see that mimicked in this drawing here. Again, this is with both the tabletops up, but you can have one up over the other. And you can also see the cup holder in this as well, because a lot of college students if those were to be in a lecture room, would most likely want like their Starbucks or something so they could have that there to prevent spills. Next. 
So how our desk is different. As we mentioned before, it accommodates both left and right-handed people. And this, as opposed to a left-handed desk, is better because the population of lefties is a lot smaller than righties. I believe it's only like 10% of the population. So the chances of a left-only desk being used and taking up that space is a lot less than that of a right-handed desk. So this way you're able to pick and save that space. Um, it also allows for more desktop space because as we mentioned before, lecture room desk, they have very little desktop and this, if you're able to flip up both the left and the right side, you have extra space. Um, it also has many options to maximize comfort. In a high school setting, we notice that a lot of the desk in the classrooms is a right-handed desk that has, it's almost like an L shape where you can left, rest your hand on. Um, and for a lefty, that is not that comfortable and it's an inappropriate testing and learning condition. Next. So the market. Um, we've envisioned our market working best in a lecture hall setting in a college. It could also work in high school, like right classrooms as well. And the price range that we came up with was 50 to $80. Now this is before we were able to make our prototype, but once we actually got to building it and saw how long it took, and finalize the materials we are going to use, that price could very well change, but for now we have it set at $50 to $80. So our roles, um, I drew out a lot of the design, so as you can see in our sketch before, both the front view and the side view, I created those. Um, I did a lot of market research to help us find ways to make our products the best we could and left-handed. Um, I did a lot of the handiwork and like involved with like cutting the cardboard for our prototype that we had partially created and like I was on the ground like taking apart the real desk and I was just kind of like the hands of the operation. So what we learned, I'd say we learned a lot. Uh, we definitely learned critical thinking, problem solving. We definitely had to like adapt to the situation and just hands on entrepreneurship. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Yeah. Go. Um, thanks for letting us create this product. It really gave us an opportunity to do something we don't usually typically get to do in school. And it was really fun for us to get to work together as friends and just create a new thing totally different.